I don't know. It's definitely a trust the process kind of thing. Hello there, my friend, and welcome back. At the end of the school year last year, I decided that I was going to paint a mural on one of my classroom walls, sketched it out, and then did absolutely nothing for the entire summer as far as that mural. We start school in about two and a half weeks, so I figured it's time to go back into the classroom and paint that mural. I think that I can knock this out in like three, four days max. Hopefully I am right. First I have to stop to get some iced tea and some Dr. Pepper. Now I'm headed for my classroom. Of course it looks just like it did when I left it at the end of school. I think because there's nothing on this side, I'm going to start painting on this side. And here's the color story that I figured I'd go with in the store. So corals and purples and pinks and blues and all of this. <laughs> and this is where I am on the mural. The green is definitely going to need a second coat. I figure that because they're all different consistencies, the paints, I'm going to need to put more coats on others, but that's something I'll do second, third coats once everything is done. So going to move into the actual flower painting. This is where I am after day one. I know that I said I wanted to do all of the flowers on this side of the wall before I left today, but I set a max time of me staying here for two hours. That's all that I can like a lot for today. And I did spend about half an hour of that talking to people. So <laughs> tomorrow I will come in a lot earlier than I did today and like shut my door and just get to work to knock out the rest of these flowers, the few that I have under there, and finish the bulk of this tomorrow. That is my plan. I did just want to show definitely a lot of this is going to need some second coats. See a lot of the brush strokes, which if you don't mind, I use with my acrylic synthetic brushes and natural hair brushes, and I grab the natural ha the natural hair brushes uh, because they're the, they're the larger of my brushes. So I grabbed that for here, but I think that that might be why there are so many brush strokes. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, hopefully tomorrow or not tomorrow, the next day, the third day is when I'm planning to do like second coats of things. So hopefully it'll all smooth over by then. If not, yeah, it, I mean, it'll be okay. It'll just, it'll be the look. Day two, picking up from where I left off, didn't come as early as I thought I was going to today, but we'll definitely stay a bit later to hopefully get that. And I brought more paints from home to get a little more color on that wall. For now, until this all dries and I can do the outlining in the background, this side is done. Started on the middle section, so I'm gonna complete the middle section now and move on to this side. And that's the end of day two. So all that's left is to do the outlining and the little detail work of the entire wall and the background like this. So initially I was going to do the whole background as black, but then I realized the detailing work that I do and the outlining work will be done in black. So not really sure between now and tomorrow, I'm going to decide exactly what color I would like this section to be. Also going to decide if I want to go all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, part of me doesn't because that will be a lot of paint that I'll have to buy, um, but I don't know. I might do the background with the flowers a certain color and then just like put painter's tape up there because the off-white grayish is still good up there 
and down here as well. I don't know. It's definitely a trust the process kind of thing. Day three, time to get started on that background and some of the outlining and detail work. And for the background, I decided like for everything else, I've really only bought, let me see, three. I only bought three paints, which of course I will use later on, but I decided to shop my stash, it's really hard for me to say, for background color. And I have this jar of, it's called Milky White, uh, but it's an off-white that I hardly ever use. So I'm going to take this and either mix in this red ochre for like a brownish color, a light brown color, or the Payne's Gray for a really light wash of gray. I don't know, let's go see which one will look the best. So of course this is going to be really washed out and dulled down but I think that might give a nice base. Then of course, a light gray will make all of these colors pop. I decided to go with the red ochre because at home, that was like my first gut feeling when I was looking at my wall of paints. And if you wanna see my wall of paints in my newly created art studio that I did in the little like dining nook that I have in my apartment, I will link that video down below in the description underneath the like button. Do the very scientific approach of adding a little at a time, if it'll come out. It had been a while since I used this one. So adding a little bit at a time, because you can always add more, but can't take any out. And I did not bring my palette knife or any sort of stir. So I'm just gonna use this. Beautiful marbleized color, but uh, not not really what I was going for. I'm going to shake this up and see if that's any better. If not, then it's just gonna have like a marbleized background like this. That's pretty. Hold on, let me see. I think there's a shadow. So that's the color it came out to. Very nice. And now for. I'm assuming, probably lining it will be, but I'm assuming at this point, this is going to be the most tedious portion of this whole process. Let me know in the comments down below how long you think it's going to take me to paint the background of this entire wall. I'm not going to do the entire wall. I'm going to tomorrow, because I forgot today, bring some painter's tape and finish this off with like a nice crisp edge. Let me know how long you think it's going to take me to do the majority of the background today. I've completed one panel. If you couldn't tell whenever I was actually painting, this isn't a real wall, it's one of those accordion doors that, you know, like you can open and close and it was just like closed completely and like not even plastered over, like paint it over. So paint it one. So I painted one panel of that wall. And so far I like it on camera. It's appearing much darker than it is in real life because there's no light in that corner. And what I've decided to do, like it came to me, uh, it came to me as I was painting. I'm going to just follow a, a general outline of the flowers on like on the border and then I'm going to go whenever I leave here and buy like the smallest what is it a pint a pint or a quart whatever the smallest like actual wall paint is buy that buy some rollers I don't know if I told you the color in black so in black go and create like a proper frame doing a little landlord special here. I don't know if I'm gonna need that in the future, so I don't wanna remove it. Doing landlord specials along this entire wall.
all done with this side and the middle. All I have left is this portion behind my desk. I switched music, I'm sure that you can hear. I switched from the Land Pavilion music to Epcot Innovations music. Something about Disney World background music just gets me so motivated and makes me like, like, focused. So, yeah. Ah, the whole background is done, at least with what paint I had. You know, I do still need to go back uh, tomorrow and do the black paint at the top, bottom, and side. But um, I'll put the screenshots right now. I started, I think, 10:15 and finished at 10:21. Not that bad. Considering I thought that it was going to take me like three hours to do this, so not that bad that it was just a little over two. It's starting to come together, y'all. It's starting to come together. So what I need to do, I'm kind of like inching into that time that I need to leave for today, but I, I have to do a little bit of the detail work. Yeah because I just have to see it. I love my flowers. I do a lot of florals in my artwork and they're like these like pop art type flowers and I love them, but the thing that makes them really pop and stand out, you can see I kind of drew it on with that marker whenever I was sketching things out at the end of the school year last year. They don't really like stand out and look complete, at least in my mind, until I've actually like sketched all of the little detail marks out. And so I want to feel like I mean, I know the background, obviously I completed it, but like, I want to feel like I'm inching my way towards being complete with this. And another thing I know that I think it was on the first day, I pointed out that the brush strokes, I would more than likely come and put a second coat. If I was doing this for like, as a commission for a client or something like that, I definitely would if they were bothered by this, but I like how it looks. I like how it looks very canvassy. It's like really, really organic. I like how the flowers are all squiggly and that's the way that I did the lines. I think that having like the actual brush strokes here really lands into that. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. All right, so that is where I'm leaving off on day three. Going to come back tomorrow and hopefully get all of this finished. Like look, look the difference to that. Like so much definition, so much character, I'm in love. Back in the classroom, back with my mural. Hopefully the last day, hopefully everything will be finished. Can't wait to see what this all looks like once it's all done. One half of the wall is done. Just have the detail work for that side left. Time to line the last flower. Instead of doing my original plan with the border like I wanted, I just decided to line all of this. I've done the bottom and not the top though. I'm going to get started on the top in a moment. I decided to line the bottom like I've been outlining the flowers. Definitely think it's completed or you know it looks completed. I feel it makes it look almost like a sticker. So I'm gonna back away so you can see what it looks like and I'll check back in once the entire thing is done.
And there it is, it's all finished. I absolutely love it. I'm going to insert a picture of it like fully right now. It was so much fun painting something of this scale and I'm actually so proud of myself that I was able to do it. It was the first time, I don't remember if I said this all those days ago whenever I started, it was the first time that I painted something so big in my life. So glad that you came along for that adventure with me. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you real soon.